Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And as expected, the Denver Broncos are bringing in an offensive tackle, Ryan Pope, who spent most of last season with the Green Bay Packers. And they're bringing him in to come in and add some depth to a much needed position that the Broncos definitely needed more offensive tackles, well, more linemen, especially after Juwan James got injured away from the team facility. And it's looking like he's going to be missing the season um, once again, in which they really haven't gotten much from him since he signed with the team a couple of years ago, coming over from the Dolphins. So they needed to add, you know, a, more depth. And this was a depth signing here. They're still going to be looking to bring in another offensive tackle with the hopes of starting that offensive tackle as Ryan Pope would just be brought on more so as just to add more depth. So that's important to note as well that this is more of a depth type of signing. Six foot seven, 315 pounds, um, went to San Diego State. Um, not really a lot of experience other than just being with the Packers last year in the NFL. So they're definitely going to want to rely on, on someone that's a little bit more experienced moving forward. And some of the options that this may consist of they do have some additional workouts that are scheduled for Wednesday with veteran tackles, including um, Dennis Kelly, Cam Fleming, and Bobby Massey, per um, Tom Pelissero. So, yeah, um, they're definitely going to be bringing in some more tackles with the hopes of perhaps bringing in someone that can come in and start as Ryan Pope is just to add more depth. So, but yeah, excited to see, you know, how that's going to turn out, which one of these offensive tackles are they going to go with? You know, how is will Ryan Polk get to actually see the field this year? Things of that sort. But one thing for sure is the Jerron James situation is just all around sad. I mean, the guy's been hurt so much, you know, and it's sad because, I mean, the Broncos, you know, obviously aren't wasn't able to get what they thought they were getting. Sad for Jerron to not be able to go out there and play. I'm sure he'd love to be out there. Um, but, yeah, that's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles, and we'll see how it goes from there. But the Broncos are not just going to lie around and wait for things to happen. They're going to go ahead and try to make things happen because, I mean, who knows? Whoever is at quarterback, whether we're talking Aaron Rodgers or not, you know, or Drew Locke, you know, whoever's at quarterback, they're going to need time to throw the ball. That's for sure. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, at the time that this video is being posted, there's not really much in terms of the actual contract um, for Ryan Pope. But um, as that information is released, you know, I'd be happy to report that. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it. And as always, you know, as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and.